If you're an e-commerce business already running shopping ads in Google Ads, but you're looking to expand the reach and awareness of your products, you need to consider TrueView for Shopping campaigns when you're running video campaigns within Google Ads. TrueView for Shopping ads start off as a TrueView in-stream ad, or a pre-roll ad that plays before the video a user actually wanted to watch. As a user watches the video ad, a shopping card will appear next to the video ad that can showcase your products. Even if the user skips the video, the products will still appear next to the video the user originally intended on watching. In this video, I'm going to show you the three ways you can select products to run alongside your TrueView video ads on YouTube. So let's begin. In order to start building a TrueView for Shopping campaign, you need to select a specific campaign goal. If you're unfamiliar with this type of campaign, you probably assume we need to select the sales goal type, but that's not the case. We actually need to select the product and brand consideration goal. These are video ads, so the next obvious selection is video. And then we want to select shopping. Once you select one of your product feeds from your Merchant Center account, we can click continue to begin the campaign setup. Now before we begin with the product selection, I really want to make sure we have the proper expectations set. These are video campaigns first, shopping campaigns second. The campaign goal that we select is product and brand consideration and not sales for a reason. We want to encourage people to consider your products or services for future use. People go to YouTube to originally intend to watch a specific video or just surf around on the videos that they are specifically looking for. Now we are getting in front of those users and disrupting their experience with some creative that hopefully engages them. If that creative captures their attention and they want to learn more, our product shopping cards will be there to help those users eventually go to our website. So really consider that people are there for more of awareness factor and that might be a little bit hard for e-commerce businesses to accept but that is the main purpose of this campaign type and as we have to select a specific campaign goal it's important to know that video campaign goals cannot be changed you can change your campaign goals in search campaigns and display campaigns but for whatever reason google will not allow you to change the campaign goal for a video campaign so we had to specifically select product and brand consideration and then the shopping subtype what you cannot do is take a current TrueView video campaign and change the campaign goal to shopping just to add your product cards on it. You cannot do that. If you don't have a product and brand consideration goal campaign selected, you will have to create a new campaign every single time. When you're choosing your products, it's also important to note that products are selected at the campaign level. If you're already running regular shopping campaigns on the search network, you're used to changing up your product selection probably by the ad group level. But again, these are video campaigns first. And as we select our products at the campaign level, you may have to create many more campaigns if you have a wide range of products you want to showcase. Now, like I said in the intro, there are three ways that we can filter our products for the TrueView for Shopping campaigns. The first one is choosing all products. When we were selecting our campaign type, we had to choose a specific merchant center feed to attach to these campaigns. Now, whichever products are attributed to that campaign feed, any product associated to that merchant center feed could show up alongside your TrueView video ad. The second product filter option we have is to select specific products. And advertisers can do this by searching by the specific product title, product URL, or the product ID. Again, all attributed to whatever you have filled in with your Merchant Center feed. When you are choosing specific products, note that you can select only a maximum of 10 products. Even though you can select up to 10 products, only six of those products will show within the shopping ad. Out of stock products can be included, but will not show up until you've gone back into the Merchant Center, refresh the feed, and those out of stock products are shown as back in stock. The third and final product filter is custom filters. We used to be able to do a ton of different custom combinations of how we wanted to filter our products. But about a year ago, they got rid of that option. And the only option that we have now are using the custom labels that we have added within our Merchant Center feeds. So hopefully if you are running regular search network shopping campaigns, you are utilizing these custom labels to group products more specifically than the default column options we already have in our Google Merchant Center product feeds. And if you do choose to select your product filters by any of your custom labels, note that you can only select one label per campaign. So you have custom label 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you're using, let's say like this example we see on the screen, Christmas, if that custom label exists in the labels column of 0 and potentially 3, we can only select one custom label per campaign. You're going to have to create a different campaign per label if it exists in multiple columns. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's the only option that Google gives us. And those are the three ways that you could select your products to show alongside your TrueView for Shopping campaigns. If you truly believe in staying on top of people's minds and building awareness in an engaging way that showcases your products or services that can potentially drive more sales, 
YouTube is a place that advertisers cannot ignore. And an easy way for us to do this is by using TrueView for shopping campaigns. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 